so we're on workbook page 47. Today we're going to learn about graphing ratio tables, which we did ratio tables yesterday. So first we're going to do some definitions. So first we're going to talk about a coordinate plane. A coordinate plane is when you have two perpendicular number lines that intersect at zero. The point where they intersect at zero, that's called the origin. The horizontal number line is called the x-axis, and the vertical number line is called the y-axis. And then we have an ordered pair. An ordered pair such as 2 comma 3 is a pair of numbers used to locate a point on the coordinate plane. So we're going to fill in the blanks below with the highlighted words from above. So we have this first line at the top. This line we're going to fill in with the word coordinate plane because the whole thing below is a coordinate plane. Okay, next we have Okay, next we have this arrow which is pointing to the vertical number line and that is the y axis. Then down here, this is pointing to where the two number lines meet at the zero. That's called the origin. Then we have, this is pointing to the horizontal number line, that is the x-axis. And then this is pointing to an ordered pair. We also sometimes call that a coordinate point. Now we're on the top of page 48, we're going to do a few more definitions. At the top, it says, you can use an ordered pair to name any point on the coordinate plane. The first number in an ordered pair is the x-coordinate, and the second number is the y-coordinate. So the first number is the x-coordinate, and that corresponds to a number on the x-axis. The second number is the y-coordinate, and that corresponds to a number on the number line that is the y-axis. You can express information in a table as a set of ordered pairs. To see patterns, graph the ordered pairs on the coordinate plane. So now we're on workbook page 50. We're going to do the guided practice together. So this says, two friends are each saving money in their bank accounts. Marcus saves $10 each week, while David saves $15 each week. Make a table for each friend that shows the total amount saved for one, two, three, and four weeks. List the information as ordered pairs where weeks is the X coordinate and dollars saved is the Y coordinate. So for Marcus, he saves $10 each week. So for Marcus in week one, he saves $10. So that means in week two, it's $20, week three, it's $30, and week four, it's $40. So as ordered pairs, that would be one comma 10. We always put parentheses around ordered pairs. Two comma 20, three comma 30, four comma 40. Okay, now David saves 15 each week. So David on week one saves 15. So that means for week two, he has 30 saved. By week three, 45. And by week four, 60. So now we're gonna write these as ordered pairs. One comma 15, two comma 30, three comma 45, and four comma 60. Number two, graph the ordered pairs for each friend on the same coordinate plane. So notice how the x-axis is the week and the y-axis is the amount saved. So now we're going to graph the ordered pair. So I'm going to start with Marcus. So the first ordered pair we have is 1 comma 10. Remember the first number belongs to the x, the second number belongs to the y-axis. So to plot 1 comma 10, you always start your pencil at the origin you move along the x-axis first and then the y-axis. So the x is one, 
the y is 10. So first we always move left or right, and then we move up or down. So first from the origin, I would have to move one to the right and up 10. And that's where my first point would be. To plot the next one, two comma 20, we start at the origin again. First you move left or right, we can't go left, we have to go right to two and then up to 20. See where those two points meet, two and 20? That's right here. So we would put a dot right there. Then we have three comma 30, start at the origin. We have to move left or right first to find three. Three is here. Now we gotta move up or down to find 30. That's right here. This is where three and 30 meet. That's where we're gonna put a point. And then lastly, we have four and 40. Look for where four and 40 meet. You start at zero, four to the right and up 40. So this is Marcus's graph. Now I'm going to do David's graph in red. So the first ordered pair we have is one comma 15. Start at the origin, move one to the right and go up to 15. Notice this is 10, this is 20. So 15 is right in the middle. So I'm gonna put my ordered pair, one to the right, up 15. Then we have two comma 30. So two to the right, up 30. Then we have three comma 45. Three to the right, up to 45. This is 40, this is 50. I gotta go right in the middle. So three to the right, up 45. Lastly, we have four comma 60. Four to the right, up 60. Now I'm just gonna connect. Number three, how do the ratios of Marcus's savings and David's savings compare? And how is this shown in the graph? So we could say that both are straight lines, which means that they both save money consistently. We call straight lines linear. So both are straight lines, they're earning money consistently, but we could see that David's line, which is the red line, is steeper because he saves more money more quickly. And that's how we graph from tables. Remember that you can always rewind and watch any parts of these videos that you wanna rewatch.